Okay, I think that'll work. Let's see. Actually, I can move this a little closer to me, make it a little easier. <laughs> um, I think right there is good for my laptop. Uh, the game is booting up here, by the way. Uh, once we see like the 25th year logo, I think we're good. It may, it may take me about like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes to, for it to boot up, though. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. And the main thing is, like, yeah, yesterday, like, uh, uh, the biggest problem is the duels weren't going through for whatever reason, so. Uh, yeah. so I hope to start here earlier in the morning. I mean, like, uh, not many people were, well, now it's a weekend, it's a Saturday, so. Might be a lot of people using the Wi-Fi here locally. I don't know. Hmm. we'll see. Like I said. That out in the last stream for Master Duel, you know, we'll try it. Uh, we'll give it, you know, three or four, you know, good old college tries. Oh, uh, if we can't get it to work, we just can't get it to work, man. Don't know what to say. So, um, uh, yeah, plan B is probably Pokemon Platinum Randomizer. Um, Oh, that's right. I've I've also recently started a uh, Troubadour here for Imperial Order, and <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, I was so frustrated yesterday. I went ahead and started my uh, yeah, collect all the cards in Dawn of Destiny. So, or well, and there's always Final Fantasy VIII, and yeah, we've got options. We've got like five or so options. Hmm. There actually is a game I'd like to. Uh, 
play here on Twitch. A lot different game than uh, I usually play. It's a visual novel. So, hmm. The main issue is the mic. Uh, I'm still really kind of testing things as far as streams go. Like, I've been listening to some of the VODs, and uh, it's kind of mix and match, you know. <laughs> some, uh, maybe it's just me, like the angle at which I talk my voice at. But uh, uh, then again, it, it's weird. Like, <laughs> listen to your own voice. Like, some days I listen to the VODs, and, yeah, you know, it sounds pretty solid. It sounds good. And then others, I'm just like, man, I can barely hear anything. So... Um, yeah, and of course, on a visual novel, you want to be able to hear every so every little inflection of the voice. So, you know, because if you're doing a visual novel, you know, ideally, as you LP it, you're going to give different characters, you know, unique voices like because you, you guys have seen like in some of my YouTube videos, you know, you give like one character to the chili voice or to the uh you know like valley arrow voice like oh my god you know you give a character like yagami voice like well, well, but if i take a potato chip and do it you know what i mean so yeah or give one character the uh my my yori kuretsuchi voice or give another character the lord's Sasori voice now once my poison seeps in it's over you know what I mean? So, <laughs> but yeah, for example, the VOD on this, I'll definitely like, you know, listen to all those different voices and just like, yeah, which ones can I hear? Which ones can I not? Because it's weird. Like, yeah, basically it's half and half from what I see on the uh, VOD so far. Like summon voices, like a, like the Kaiba voice, you can help hear pretty well. Um But yeah, some of the other voices you cannot. So, which basically kind of gives me a mental, uh, you know, checklist as far as a visual novel. It's just like, okay, I can use this voice, but I can't use this one. You know what I mean? So that way, yeah, we make the most of it. And the clearer things are, the better overall the visual novel will be. So, <laughs> And it's pretty funny. Like, you know, I, I've never really done a visual novel. Let's play, but uh, yeah, I definitely don't expect it to get like any views, any, any at all. Like, I mean, like, <laughs> by the time I complete it, uh, I expect like all the views on the visual novel or probably be my own views just from winning in and editing. Uh, yeah, it's not really a genre I, uh, <laughs> you know, so you can't expect too much success. On, uh, you know, yeah, but really, I just want to do it for fun, you know, and just to say, uh, hey, hey, you know, yeah, and it's not going to cost me anything. I already have this visual novel. Um, I've had it for quite some time, actually. Um, but yeah, I finally got my, my old, you know, uh, desktop. The old, the old 2005 Acer Aspire in there. <laughs> yeah, I actually got it to boot up the other night, and uh, which is good because I was able to. Uh, yeah, I didn't really talk about that, but yeah, my, my 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 very first computer, my old computer, the first desktop computer I bought myself, way back in 2004. I think's been having problems for eh, like the last. Well, you guys have seen what what happened to the uh, Nightmare Troubadour fiasco recording. Yeah, so I started Nightmare Troubadour. You go Nightmare Troubadour. Um, yeah, I started Let's Playing It, what, in 2016? And then we just had all kind of issues. Uh, I was working at the time, too, so, you know, the uploads were pretty slow. and uh, I, I really didn't know what I was doing back then as far as YouTubing. I, I kind of still don't, you know. But, um, yeah, I could definitely say things are much better. Well... I wouldn't say overall, well, yeah. some things are better. Uh, I've gotten a lot better at tagging, for sure. Um, and uh, a couple other things. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, long story short, we were right in the middle of, uh, I think, the beginner. No, not the be we were it Oh, right, the uh, Shadow Games arc in uh, Nightmare Troubadour. And that computer just <laughs> did. You know, it, it just went out and flat died. So, yeah, I was really upset by it. Uh, 
Not really a way I could make an update for a while either. So I didn't have a computer. So long story short, I just saved up a bunch of money from work. It took me about like two years. And uh, yeah, bought this laptop that I'm streaming on right now. And then, uh, of course, the problem is, you know, we had we had gotten some really good cards on that save file. We had gotten like Cloud of Greed, Crush Card, etc. And yeah, I could have played from the beginning, but there was no guarantee I could have gotten those cards. Um, so yeah, I was just basically patient. You know, I would test out that, and I still do. I still test out the uh, fat desktop computer like every, uh, like about every six or seven, basically like once a week, you know. Usually on a uh, a Thursday, kind of an odd day to test it, but you know, you I just you, you just boot it up and you know plug everything in and uh, uh yeah yeah this last uh, Thursday uh, kind of went toward the night it actually worked and uh, I was able to transfer not only that visual novel but also uh, a game I'm pretty excited to LP eventually uh yeah Pokemon Nightmare Invasion yeah. As well as a couple other uh, different Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon games that I have uh, downloaded there. As well as uh, Civilization 2, Test of Time. I was able to get some uh, some old old save files, you know, that personally that I have that uh, are near and dear to my heart. And uh, yeah, a couple couple photos and videos, you know, just mostly personal family stuff that are pretty, uh, pretty special. So, <laughs> yeah, it felt good to have that boot up. And yeah, yeah, and I just found my flash drive and yeah, transferred everything to my computer. You know, now that I think about it, <laughs> you know, I've been wondering, like, man, why is my computer slow? Why is, you know, Master Duel not working? Could be, like, the boatload of file transfer. I mean, yeah, that, uh, wow, well, I just solved my own issue. Hmm. Perhaps I should look at my storage. <laughs> you know, that, uh, huh. Yeah, because my storage capacity is probably way higher than it usually is. Huh. Oh, yeah, but anyway, long story short. Uh, yeah. Got a visual novel that I have yet to let's play that I would really like to let's play. As well as several other Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon games, so... Yeah. And, uh... Yeah. Also, I was needing some personal information off of there, too, so I'm very glad I got it to boot up. But, uh... Uh, anyway, it took quite a while for the game to boot up, so I doubt, um, a game will go through right away, but, uh, huh. well, let's just give it a whirl. You know what? Maybe I'll do some solo duels if, uh, <laughs> just, just, just to say I could, I did something this stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I've yet to play through the solo. I'll probably save solo campaign for, um, you know kind of a vanilla uh basically it'll look like an episode of you know nightmare troubadour or whatever you know because the audio quality on my phone is way higher than it will ever be here on the laptop so although the visual on the laptop looks pretty good so you know what maybe i'll simul simul record i'll record both and stream both and then just transfer my audio from my phone to the mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's a good idea there you go Getting some good ideas. I don't think this game's gonna go through, guys. It's taken quite a while. Yeah, so. But, uh. Oh, regardless, I need to test this anyway. Figure out what's going on. It's either something going on with, you know, Master Duel or my internet or something. Or potentially now my computer storage. Now that I've thought of, uh. <laughs> you know what I just did uh, Thursday night, so. Hmm. Oh, that was a nice, you know, 15 minute vlog, basically. <laughs> If nothing else, I can uh, upload this as a bonus episode to YouTube. You know, flooding vlogs about uh, finding a visual novel. Yeah. yeah, this game keeps failing to launch. That's basically what this uh, what this vod's gonna be. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, by the way, yeah, I just got done uh, doing some uh, Naruto uh, Shippuden Ninja Storm 2. Did that first thing this morning. I basically just kind of woke up, combed my hair. Yeah, there's no way this game goes through, bro. It's taking so long. Yeah, there's just no way. There's no way the game launches right here, so. Alright, looks like first attempt failure, but, uh, anyway. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, I, I just recorded some Naruto Shippuden Ninja Storm 2. Very exciting, very fun recording session. Uh, so long story. Yeah, there But, uh, yeah, we just got to the part where we, you know, we cleared the final seals of Ori Halkos. And then we, uh, so that's like one episode. Because I definitely wanted to make sure I get all of the fight in with a, a sorcery of the Red Sand in one episode. And, uh, yeah, I cut it actually really, really close. But, uh, yeah, luckily I got in, like, all the jokes and quips and yada, yada, yada. Uh, all in, like, uh... 31 minutes, it was like, the time was 31 minutes and uh, 45 seconds, which is perfect. Because my phone always cuts off, you know, right around 32 minutes, so. Pretty fun episode, pretty funny episode, too. <laughs> like, like, man, uh, Itachi Uchiha in that game is hilarious. Because, <laughs> like, uh, you know, because, like, uh, Sasori and Data, right, you know, they're after Naruto. You know, the, because since he's a Jin Cherokee. And then, uh, it's so funny, you know, Saucery's like, uh, yeah, yeah, this Naruto, you know, what, what's he look like? Can you give a description of him? And then Itachi's like, yeah, he's the one who bursts in and barks first. <laughs> and then that's exactly what, and then Saucery's like, uh, couldn't he give this a better description? But then that's exactly what Naruto does. Just like, where's God? <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then Data is all like, ah, I guess that's him. Hmm. <laughs> anyway. How dare you judge me and my art? Art is an explosion. So. <laughs> All right, attempt two. Let's see. But uh, yeah, pretty fun recording session overall. And uh, yeah. Oh, are we actually going to see a game? Wow. Okay. Well. Here we go, guys. Alright. Wow. Never thought I'd get this game to actually record today, based on my overall speed there. But, uh, alright. Not a bad hand. We got Chitomi and Palmer and Sand Game, as well as Rare Metal Morph. <laughs> you know, to be quite frank, I forgot what all I put in this deck last stream, but, uh, eh, whatever. Yeah, we're just gonna, uh, you know, I don't really expect to win too much with this deck. But uh, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna do whatever, so. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna vlog or whatever in the meantime, so. Alright. <laughs> Hopefully they're playing, like, Branded Fusion or something, and I can Chithoni and Palm or something. That would be hilarious. <laughs> or Tier Limits. <laughs> Take their Kid Collins. <laughs> oh, good. Anyway. But yeah, pretty fun recording session overall. Uh, and man, Sa Sasori has like some of the best lines in that uh, section of the game. Like at one point, him and uh, you know Lady Chio are throwing equips. And he's just like empty words. I can't really do his voice, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go back and rewatch some of those clips. So uh, we ended our turn, right? What's going on here? It's his draw phase. Are we gonna get our first win with Ally of Justice? Maybe he's gonna connection failure? Maybe our connection failed actually. That sounds a lot more Oh, damn it, he drew. Well let's see if he makes it to the standby phase. But yeah, pretty fun recording session to start the day. Yeah, I literally just woke up around like it was like 2.15ish. Kind of combed my hair, uh, you know, checked on some of my YouTube comments, responded to some. Uh, yeah, we've been starting a uh, back to school, you know, kind of recording session, and uh, yeah, recently I've gotten like 10 new subscribers, so that's awesome. And uh, a couple of the uh, 
premieres I've been doing lately have been a lot more viewer interactive, which is good, you know. So. Yeah, because yeah, they're not always, well, well, you know. But it was on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, I think, uh, Dawn of Destiny? It was one, you know. Yeah, because it wasn't a Dragon Ball Z or Final Fantasy VIII, but, uh, well, actually, there were some, of, there was a little slight interaction on Final Fantasy VIII, which is good. Um, boy, what is going on here? I think Pats is having a connection failure. It's either him or me, man, because, yeah, it's still the draw phase. Wow. Huh. Well, we might get our first win with Ally of Justice here. Yeah, yeah, because that's what I was saying last stream. Was like, I don't really expect to, you know, legitimately win, you know, through battle damage. But well, I, th I think we can manage some. Like, if they brick or uh, miss combo, some people will just flat out surrender. So, I think we can get like four surrenders. So that's possible. But uh, oh, we made it to the standby phase. Okay, man, he's just taking so much time now. There's like no way that uh, there's no way he doesn't time out, right? Especially like if he has a full combo deck, like let's say Black Wings. He's already taken so much time. Huh. Well, we're definitely gonna check this guy's deck after this. Huh, wonder what's taking him so long. But uh, yeah, anyway, if you have been like following or subscribing lately, as far as my YouTube, yeah, I definitely appreciate it, guys. It, of course, you know, helps the channel. You guys know that. But uh, yeah, um, you know, while this guy is taking a while, <laughs> I guess I can check the stream on my phone and uh, make sure we're recording audio and video. Uh, but I was just kind of vlogging while the game booted up. So, but now that it has, let's uh, yeah, it's a perfect time to do this, really. While this guy times out. Oh god, he played a card. What is that, Lightning Storm? Oh, pfft. bro, you had to think that long about that? <laughs> Come on, bro. Okay, set one pass. Alright, alright, we're gaming, boys and girls, we're gaming. Oasis, sweet. We'll just attack first, and I'll set main phase two. I ain't afraid. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, you had to think about that? Like, what the heck? Marshmallow! Sweet. Good card. Alright. I'll set one pass. Go ahead, bro. He may be playing, like, counter fairies or some kind of stall. He may be playing a burn deck. You know, yeah. Who knows? We'll see. see what else can I vlog about while this guy takes quite a while on his turns um, let's see there is some something else I was wanting to talk think about um, yes yeah, so um that's what I was gonna say um, I also did uh, recently some episodes in um, excuse me had a little bit of the burps there. I was drinking a little ice cream before this. Um, I had a few episodes 
Uh, oh, it looks like we can get out a gateway here, so you know what? Let's do it. Let's play gateway in attack mode. Maximize the damage a bit. There we go. And, uh, okay. We can t do a little extra damage to this guy. Okay, so he's going for a Silent Swordsman deck. That's quite interesting. That deck focuses around the gate and spells. Uh, I guess we can set Magnet Force to protect uh, Gateway. And Semyon will put it in defense. This probably is correct, which we will not do. Yeah. Yeah. Get okay. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh,. Was I, I was talking about a new Let's Play, or what was I talking about? Oh, let's change this to off. Wait till he uses a monster effect. Okay. I like the music for this event, by the way. Um, what was I thinking of? Uh, I'm saying something about... Was I talking about a new Let's Play or an old Let's Play? Pretty important too. Um, what was it? What was I? Th um, hmm. God. It'll it'll come back to me. Oh, thank you. It's gonna help us thin our deck. Okay. So we'll get to use Sangan's effect here. So let's just use Sangan to grab. Ooh, good combo here. Let's grab uh, this. Yeah. <laughs> Because this is a level 8, so unless he plays like any back row, I'm not too worried, so. Sweet. Okay. Uh, let's save Dragon Souls. Man, this duel is pretty interesting. Gale. Sweet. Um. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's start by. Oh, we can actually special summon this. Sweet. <laughs> the gateway combos. <laughs> then we can special summon Gale. Okay, this is going pretty good. Okay. Yes, I will haul this card. Haul its stats. Okay. And then I'm pretty sure we can go into the level 10. Yeah, nice, nice. All right, so here we go. This card's unaffected by all effects, so pretty good. Oh, we got into that pretty easily. Definitely didn't think I'd be pulling off this combo on the first duel we had with this deck, but hey, here we are. Ideal, Black Wing. All right, we can use this effect now. Uh, what is it? If you control a Blackwing Synchro Monster, you can manage this guy. Oh, sounds pretty good to me. See you, Marshmallow. Okay. Nope, don't change anything. Now, this revives it in defense, right? Yes. Hmm. And I don't think we have a level 11 Synchro, but you know what? Maybe I should see if we have Psychic and Punisher or something. You never know. Anyway, let's do as much damage as possible here. Alright, something's happening in this duel. Alright. <laughs> what if this guy is Gores? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me after seeing the Marshmallow on. Alright, turn endo. Wow, if this was called the Haunted instead of uh, Oasis, we could have won this turn. That's hilarious. <laughs> Ooh, I should see if there's any worm synchro monsters. Or synchros that need worm types. That's a good idea, like Tinnies. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I got a monster that's unaffected, bruh. What you gonna do? It's working, guys. It's working. We're gonna win with Ally of Justice. But to be fair, this guy isn't playing the most, you know, necessarily competitive deck, you know. Uh, we have seen a little bit of the Silent Swordsman combos, but, you know, that's about it. Uh, this was the main thing we saw, is Paladin. 
pretty interesting. And then just some generic stuff, you know, storm, extravagance, you know, stuff I've got in my deck too. Another storm, okay. No problem, amigo. Going after the back row. Uh huh. Let's do this chain order right. So let's summon. Let's activate this. And then we'll target Samyun. And then I'll chain Magnet Force. Yeah, because this will uh, destroy Samyun on the resolution. Give us another search. So that's good. I guess let's take another sand again. Let's just, you know, thin the deck. If I had a machine on the field, I would have taken an unlimited, of course. Face down, huh? That's like his first spell or trap of the entire duel. Interesting. Hoppy no Hanaboshi. Ho <laughs> ho Storming Mirror Force, huh? You do? Fulama Gravitation! <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. We actually legit got somebody by life point damage. Well, guys, that's probably the highlight of the stream. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Because I doubt we'll win, you know, any other duels. <laughs> <laughs> oh good yeah it's gonna be a long stream boys and girls but uh yeah. all right next duel oh yeah i forgot to check out his deck but we'll check out the silent swordsman deck uh after this seemed pretty interesting i guess he just bricked a lot you know interesting strategy though for the uh, lights yeah because light warriors in general have a pretty good bevy of support so like rota and stuff so yeah Uh, we definitely want to go second with the stick, by the way. And let's hope we're facing a light deck. We basically want to face light decks every time, if it's uh, ideally possible, you know. But yeah, I forgot what game I was talking about. Um, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Hmm. And it's not like a new game. Uh, it wasn't Troubadour. Like, I'm sure you guys have seen on my YouTube channel, but I have started doing the Quest for Pegasus to get Imperial Order Nightmare Troubadour, but I don't think I was talking about that. What game was it? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, man, it's like slipped in my, my brain, but you know, it is still pretty early here in the day, so not too worried about it. It'll come to me. Well, we've been drawing same game pretty consistently here. Um, and it is a thousand, so yeah. This will look at reverse and uh, call it good. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, Kakun. Full extra deck. Oh, or they may be running Dark Magician. What do you guys think? I guess we'll know once we see the uh, Dark Magical Circle. End phase. Hmm. These first two duels have been really weird. I think we've just been getting pretty lucky. This, if they are playing Dark Magicians, this is a pretty good card to get. Because once they go into the fusion, yeah, we can steal it so, potentially. So. Okay. <laughs> no reason not to set mech platform, so. There we go. And it's just gonna be Sangan Beatdown, I guess. This guy will eventually draw some monsters, though. Unless he's running a burn strategy, in which case, uh, Justice Dirts is now improved. Pretty good card there. Pretty good card. Okie dokie. 
Not bad. Do, 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 do. All right, and we'll just bluff with rare metamorph. Yeah. Well, that's two thousand more damage than I expected to do in this duel. But uh, anyway, I'll end the turn, I guess. Hmm. You got Kakun. Nada. <laughs> They're probably like just waiting on bigger fish to fry as far as these face downs. So I'm just gonna keep going in with Sandigan, man. No reason to do anything else. Mm hmm. I mean, you might think, oh yeah, summon Desperado. Nah. <laughs> you know, no reason. Uh, Gale? Like if we get Mirror Forced for Gale, that's fine. Or Torrential, you know, that's perfectly fine. Um, alright, we can go into Shadow Lich. Hmm. All right. Ba -da 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 -da. Ah, labyrinth, huh? Boy, it took him a while to draw the uh, welcome labyrinth. Gee whiz, bro. What took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it took him forever to draw that. I guess Lever Labyrinth can break. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> nah, we're good. Main two. We still have the effect of Gale, yes. Um. Hmm. Oh, I guess this is untargetable, huh? Well, let me do a little thinking here. We've got a tuner, and we've got three threes, and another three in the graveyard. Hmm. Hmm. Let me do some thinking here. Let's try this. She's also safe. So I've got some Link monsters. This may force some action on their part. Man, if only I had Trishula. <laughs> That'd be pretty hilarious here. Heavy mech. Now we're good. They're thinking. Okay. All right. Let's go for. Hmm. IP Mascarino. Linking these two. If they have some kind of interaction with this, this will definitely force some stuff. Mm hmm. Sangan effects. There we go. Oh, wait, that's Trapple on Mascarina. Hmm. Interesting. A monster that used this card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Hmm. Obviously, I'm trying to go into access code here. Hmm. And if we pull it off, it'll be at 3300 unaffected. EED. Not bad. Okay. Well, looks like we're good, so. Okie dokie. We'll go with unaffected access code. Why not? Huh. Surprised to get that out, honestly. Access code talker. Alright. Well, we'll target IP, of course. There we go. So we're up to 30. Oh, sorry. 43. And we're. Un can't be destroyed. Or, yeah, by card effects. So, there you go. 
Imperm, huh? Not bad, not bad. Okay. Oh, we tried, boys. <laughs> Pretty interesting. surprised we got to summon uh, access code at all, though. I mean, <laughs> those first few turns, man, all we had was like sand game, you know, this. <laughs> Crazy, man. Crazy. What? Anyway. And they were just bricked. I'm guessing the first five were like Gravedigger, Imperm, TT, and Compulse, which yeah, that will brick you in Labyrinth, but, uh, Hmm. Pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, the fact that we got out of Link 4 in this deck at all on our second duel is honestly... Yeah, pretty lucky. Pretty lucky, so... Because <laughs> obviously, guys, this deck's Ally of Justice, you know, we're not supposed to be making plays. It's not supposed to be good, you know. <laughs> but I think what's obviously helping us the most is, believe it or not, Sam Yan, yeah. You know... <laughs> And like I'm playing a really, 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 really slow strategy, but honestly, Sangin plus the revival stuff, it's working out pretty good, you know. And it's crazy. Like, look at these cards: Sangin, Heavy Mech, Monster Reborn. We went from like 2003 to 2005. To, uh, you know, 2017 here with access code. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Pretty crazy, really. Definitely, it, it, it's like being in a time machine. <laughs> it's like, you know, <laughs> we, we definitely accelerated in the time machine on that final turn there. <laughs> Only to run into a, you know, a 2020 staple here. But, you know, I, that's to be expected, though, you know. Definitely going to be a lot of infirms flying around. You know, it didn't matter what the event is. So, yep. And Kakun's not putting up too much damage here either. So, I guess they were afraid of our bluff. I think the bluff worked because all we had set was rare metamorph. So, yeah, you know. <laughs> but you know, Labyrinth's got they they've got enough plays. Like once they get this card out, uh, they can bring back a trap every turn. The uh, lovely lady. So, yeah, and then they can start, you know, swiping cards in your hand or, like, on your field. So, uh, the field spell is also a real, real, real problem. So, if you're ever facing Labyrinth, try to get the field spell off. But a lot of the times they'll have protection back here, you know. So, overall, pretty fun strategy to use. It's just like, I, and I have all the cards for it, but it's just like, eh, you know. I want to do something meme -y, something funny. So, Ally of Justice it is. And, you know, like, I doubt anyone's playing Desperado in this event as well. So, <laughs> we're going with fun decks, man. All right. And we've already got one win with Ally of Justice, you know, so. We'll see. All right. Yeah, I like events like this, though, you know, because, you know, we get 50 medals no matter what. So, yeah, pretty fun just to run some, you know, kind of meme decks in these events. And then, you know, stream, kick back, have a lot of fun. Because, you know, no matter what, we make progress. So, <laughs> ba -da 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 -da. but yeah, basically any wins I get with this deck, probably going on the highlight reel, <laughs> you know. Because, I mean, like, there's no way we're supposed to win against, you know, full-powered Labyrinth here. 
Hmm, maybe I should run Vanity's Call. Yeah. This is a unique Chain 5, so it'd be pretty funny, honestly. Now this card, like, destroys cards, right? Ooh, yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna add Despair of the Dark after this, actually. We're gonna add a couple copies of that. Yeah, because I imagine Labyrinth will be pretty popular in this event. Maybe there's another Dark Monster I can think of that's pretty trolly. It activates when it's destroyed as well. Hmm, I'll do some thinking between streams. Okay, we'll probably draw another trap card. We've got quite a few of them in the stick. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. If you had any light monsters on the field, you know, I'd be getting out the uh, the continuous spell gateway. So, yeah, you got lucky. And like, dude, this does look like a continuous spell. Look at this thing. <laughs> Looks like it's almost, uh, you know, you, you know, uh, DD support, like DD Warrior Lady. That's what this looks like. This looks like the, uh, the portal to the different dimension. <laughs> but it, it's actually a monster. It's really weird, but, uh, not, definitely not the weirdest thing in Yu-Gi-Oh, though, you know. <laughs> Alright, congratulations, Kakoon. You proved that Labyrinth is far superior than Ally of Justice. Although, did you really? Man, that took you, like, way too many turns, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck in the event, Kakun. Anyway, let's check out that first deck. That one seemed, you know, interesting. With the Silent Swordsman stuff. Yeah, this is just basically Silent Turbo. You got Silent Magician. Ah. Nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And then you've got... Yeah. Spell Shutdown. Hmm. Then you've got the forces backing it up. I like it. I like it. This is a pretty cool deck. And you know, for the exceeds, you got stuff to go into Zeus, you know? Because these are all level fours. I like it. I like it. All right. Huh. Anyway, don't really see too many uh, level decks in general. Uh, let's add Despair of the Dark. All right. Oh, it's actually a rare. Hmm, what about Fear from the Dark? Let's see. <laughs> Fear from... Da -da -da -da. Aha! Yeah! That'll work. Okay. And... Actually, let's just add just one. Okay, and then also... Uh huh. Return this card to your hand. It's honestly pretty good. Okay. Oh, we've only got one of it. Okay. Um. <laughs> you know what? We've got plenty of normal uh, crafts, so let's craft a second one. There we go. And I think we're good. Is there anything I that I want to add? You know what? We can trade it for a Gilgarth, actually. Is there anything I want to add that helps Ally of Justice? Hmm, Ally of Justice. Do I have a way to search level 8? That's the question. Hmm, I guess I could add Book of Moon to help this guy. Yeah. Let's add one Book of Moon. Or do I have Eclipse? Let's see, Book of, Book of... Uh, we've got Taiyu and Life. Uh, do I not have Book of Moon? I guess I don't. Hmm, there are other cards that set opponents' cards, though. Hmm. Okay, in between this duel, I'll think of it. Because uh, they're... Yeah, yeah, save and return. There are also trap cards that set your opponent's cards. Hmm. Or, ooh, I could run, like, Morphing Jar number two. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, wait, no, it's not a dark. Hmm. But there's definitely some dark uh, monsters that do that. Also, I just thought of a really good dark monster. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. 
Escape Ghost, baby. Wow. I don't know how I didn't think of that the first time. Yeah, a lot more tributes for Chthonia and Palmer. Yeah, assuming the effect resolves, anyway. That's a, that's a big assumption here in 2023, though. Hmm. Yeah, a trap that flips the opponent's card face down. Hmm, there's definitely one on my mind. But what's the name of it? Like, I have the picture in my head, too. Hmm. I feel like the Spongebob meme, you know, where he's just like, Come on, baby, what's the name? Give me a name. Ah, uh, what's the name, baby? Okay, well, we got our level 4 tuner. That could be good. Oh, I also forgot to add, uh, check on, like, Tinnies. See if I have any, uh, Tinny or Sword Soul, uh, Synchros. Hmm. Well, anyway, I'll do it next. Ooh, what have we got here? Ah, just Cyber's Turbo. Yeah, pretty good, honestly. This is like the uh, code line, basically. So, Cyframe. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, good. Cyframe. Hmm. I'm intrigued. I'll set. Well, Cyframe. Uh, we'll set this. Let's go ahead. Cyframe Lambo. In your hand while you. Uh, oh, that makes sense, honestly. That makes sense. Ah, I see. Yeah, because normally you can't control a monster for their effects. So this is kind of a lockdown stun deck. I see. I see. I see. Hmm. Now, I expect like something to negate this because Cyframes are all about negation, but oh. Okay, well, I guess we're good for now. went a lot better than expected. Let's see if they do any cleanup duty on the main phase too. Hmm. Okay, what's the field spell do? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, these are all light monsters. We'll save core destructure. That may be clutch actually. Let's see what we can go into here. Um, for the synchros. Oh, I don't have any level eight synchros. I may want to check on that. Um, well, let's try for the uh, Mascarena play then. So we'll go this and this. Yep, pretty common combo in this deck. You basically just want to Mascarena with all the tokens straight into access code if you can. Uh, a lot of times this will get negated though. Yeah, so. Good on you. Bum 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 And then they're gonna synchro summon a seven. Pretty good, pretty good. <coughs> Plenty of sevens you can go into, like Black Rose Dragon, for example. Ba -da, ba -da -da. Zeta. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Hmm. Interesting. Let's do this. Core Destroyer? MVP, baby. <laughs> Let's see if they have a response for this. Probably, I'm expecting an imperm of some sort, but uh, obviously we're going after Zeta. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting choice. Yeah. Wow, we forced him to use the overload. <laughs> hey, great job, Core Destroyer. You did your job. That's hilarious, actually. <laughs> Oh, God. That is hilarious. <clears throat> All right. Main two. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got Scape Ghost in the grave. We can set that. Mm, we're good. Mascarina should come back with uh, Zeta. Yeah, so... <clears throat> All right. see hmm okay all right destroying mascarina or clearing out my board too. In phase, we will. Oasis. Alright, on Scape Ghost. Hmm, yeah, Book of Moon would be pretty good in this deck, honestly. Let's see, what can we do here? Not too much. Hmm, let's just go with this. And we'll probably set a reverse face down. Uh, yeah. Try to destroy this, I guess. We're setting another. Go ahead. All right, we've got limit reverse now, so there we go. We're just going to clear us out here. Hmm. Ah. I was wondering why Oasis didn't work on uh, Mascarina. It's because it has to special summon it in defense. And you can't do that with Lynx. I was wondering why we couldn't revive it there. Hmm. Note to self, I'll probably switch one out for, uh, unless I find some tinny synchros, I'll probably switch that out for Call of the Haunted instead. Good to know. That's interesting that that's how that works. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, Escape Ghost round two. Does this work on face down monsters? No. Yeah, it has to be special summoned and in attack mode. So, pretty interesting. Alright, let's set the third card. Rare Metamorph. 
All right, we're good. We're stalling, man. We've got a lot of tokens in this deck, so this deck does have some longevity, you know, if you're not, like, negating my effects, you know, so. Um, let's see. Although, to be fair, Zeta can actually take out a couple of tokens because tokens can't be banished. So, they may decide to do that, but if they do, it's fine. So. Alright. There's the Gamma. That's what I've been waiting on. I knew they had to have at least one Gamma. It just took them a while to draw it. <laughs> all right, all right. Mm -hmm. And then they can immediately Synchro an 8. This is what the deck's supposed to do. The only problem with them for them is I don't use a lot of uh, effects, so for Ally of Justice. <laughs> so that's why they haven't been able to deep combo the whole time, you know? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see if we can hold on here. Deal with me, mate. Do it All right, IP, you're up, baby. Do 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 do. You got an MST? Deal. IP. Let's get him up. Oh, I forgot about the field spell. Nice, 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 nice. They boosted just enough to get over me, so not bad. All right. Yep, and that was basically like pure side frames. So uh, an interesting deck. It's definitely not the strongest. It's about, if I had to class it from uh, S to, you know, F tier, it's like, it's B tier. It's it's okay, you know. But uh, there are certain matchups that, you know, you just can't do anything with side frames like you just saw. Like, if I'm not activating a lot of effects, yeah, this deck can't... And, the, and you know what? Three driver? Three driver? This deck can brick, like, and brick pretty hard. But, like, the, the key, though, is to, like, synchro summon during your opponent's turn. So, that's the main combo. So, and, of course, Omega goes pretty hard in this deck. As well as, what's the main link? Don't they have a link three? Oh, they do, but they're not playing it. Yeah, Cyframes have a link three. Which is pretty boss, but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure they do, don't they? Yeah, Cyframes, yeah, 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 I'm like 99% certain. It's got like a 2400 attack. Yeah, let you recover some uh, Cyframes, right? Hmm, huh. anyway, Toshi, let's do it, Toshi. I wonder if there are any bots in this festival, too. If that's the case, yeah. Well, I can definitely see that happening because you, you get gems regardless, so people might just send bots in here to, you know, <laughs> to uh, STK and uh, get gems. So the only reason I wondered that is because this profile is kind of blank, but, you know. All right, let's see what we got on this one. We got Sand Gan and Time Machine. That's actually really good. Duster is good on certain matchups. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And we got the OP. Ally of Justice, guard hold all oh, man. If he battles a light monster, he gains 200 attack during the damage step only. That's right, 200 attack, baby. Yeah. That's right. We're matching the power of Banner of Courage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but only if we battle light monsters. That's how OP guard hold is. Oh man, that's gonna make a funny clip. <laughs> oh god. Alright, I'm expecting some kind of OTK strategy here, like Numerons or Cyber Dragons or something. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, let's see. What kind of OTK will it be? Will it be Access Code? Will it be Numeron? Will it be Utopia? Utopia is highly likely, by the way. Yeah, because you are allowed light monsters in this event, so 
And I have run into a couple of Utopia OTKs, so. Brick Eyes OTK? Hmm, that's my favorite kind of OTK. Not actually, but you don't always see it pulled off, so. Because Brick Eyes can brick. Shocking, I know. Oh man, hey, he's playing Blue Eyes. That means we'll gain the 200 attack. Awesome. We broke the meta, guys. We did it. We did it with Ally of Justice. Alternative. Ba -da -na 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 -na. Piercing the darkness. Oh, that's it? No. All right. With Sangan, I will definitely take the all powerful Core Destroyer. <laughs> uh, my Core Destroyer is going to wipe out this alternative. <laughs> oh, it's going to be hilarious, guys. You ready? Get ready for one for the highlight reel. Yeah, go ahead and play your blue eyes. I guess he will get to draw a card with piercing, but. Jet! Alright. Sweet. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 Hmm. Interesting. You know, I am curious about a certain ruling. That is interesting. Hmm. At the start of the damage step. At the start of the damage step. Which works first here? Huh. This is going to be an interesting interaction. I'm actually not sure. Let's attack Jet. But he gets his effect too, right? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because he has a blue eyes in the grave. So what's going to happen here? Interesting. I never thought we'd see an interaction like this in the stream, but... Huh. Is Core Destroyer going to get bounced? Hmm. This is a pretty interesting interaction, honestly. And of course, if you're wondering why I didn't go after Alternative, it's because this card protects it. Um, yeah, I think it says other cards can't be destroyed. Yeah, other cards you control cannot be destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Interesting. Well, either Toshi's thinking pretty hard over there, or um, we had a disconnection, so. I wonder what would happen here, though. Hmm. Unknown Crusher, wow. Hmm. I may... Well, let's see if that's a craft for a normal card, actually. That doesn't seem too bad, wow. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Nullifier as well. Hmm. Yeah. Of course, quarantine is banned for this event, which really sucks, but... Hmm, interesting. I got some things to think about for future streams. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think if I do craft something with like some ultra rare material though, decisive armor will be pretty good overall. And as you see, saw with the first duel, we can get out level 10s actually pretty easily in this deck, so yeah. Bum, bum, ba -da -da. Well, uh, something happened in this one, guys. Sorry about that, but uh, it's just the way it goes, you know? Ah, uh, you do need to use like a total of three monsters, though. Still pretty good, though, if you got, you know, the light matchup. Hmm. I'll definitely look at uh, the uh, Mammoth of Gra Mammoth Graveyard retrain, though. Unknown Crusher. Hmm. Okay. While my computer sorting itself out, I'm just going to stand up and do a little stretch. did it we won with ally of justice yep core destroyer too strong <laughs> all right yeah i i'm really i'm really really sad that he disconnected there though because i would i'm really really curious uh you know which would have destroyed which there hmm anyway uh unknown crusher seems pretty good let's see Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah, and it is a normal, so... Okay, you know what? Let's craft two of this. Yeah. Here we go. Alright, come on in, Mammoth Graveyard. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, yeah, now this is looking a little more like Ally of Justice. Uh, let's take a small break and open a few packs, actually. Because we're getting a lot of gems in this event, so... The main cards I'm going after are the new ones, though, with the uh, Kashatira. So, all right, all right. You wish me luck, and I'll buy like, yeah, like three of them or so. so. A ray is nice. I've never built Sky Strikers before, so. Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Shiny. Okay. Ooh, another. Ooh. What do we got. Ooh, Chaos Archfiend. Pretty cool. Yep. Any, if any cards have been banished, gains 2,000. Wow. Ah, good effect. Yeah, can attack once each. Pretty good. Right. And we'll take one more for the road. Shiny. Oh, pretty good luck there. Three packs, three hollows. That's, uh, of course, when you buy them in singles, you're definitely not guaranteed anything. But, uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, Celia. Nice. All right. And we got uh, the big hit, though, is, of course, Ogre. Uh, ogres are like onions. They have layers. I think that's my first Ogre, too, so that's good. All right. Um, back to the devil. Okay. Yep, and everything on stream still sounds good, so... <clears throat> I 
Yeah. Man, it's a shame we didn't see that though. Cause I wonder if um uh yeah, Core Destroyer would have destroyed it, yet it would have gotten bounced by um Jet Dragon there, blue eyes jet dragon. That's a really interesting interaction. Since both occur at the start of the damage step, I think it depends on the... T I want to say it depends on the turn player. For example, if he... It would have been his turn and he attacked into me, I, I think his bounce effect would have activated first. And then... Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. And then, like, Kor wouldn't have been on the field, so how can the effect resolve? You know what I mean? It's kind of a weird, unique interaction, really. Hmm. Shame we missed it. But I guess there's a chance we can see that interaction again if we run into another Brick Eyes player, so yeah, we'll see. Dogmatica Ritual, huh? That's an interesting variation for this event. Uh, Okie dokie. Ally of Justice, too strong, guys. Too strong. <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about to start streamers. It's like, yeah, yeah, people miss combo and they surrender. There you go. That's exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. Alright, well, that's 500 medals. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, and we still got a good, you know, generous amount to go, so. Toad, hey, 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 mister. You can't use that froggy boy in this event. Get that out of my screen. Yeah, that's a water. No, 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 no. No water boys in this event. Hmm, unless you use some kind of token. Alright guys, let's show them who they're messing with. Now I have just this Garrett Hall. Too strong, baby. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, now if you got a light monster, you're, you're doomed, buddy. You're doomed. You got no chance. Uh, let's set time machine, sure. And in the turn. <laughs> a lot of revival cards we have in this deck. Oh, I forgot to put in Call of the Haunted. Okay, next duel. Next duel, guys. Yeah, definitely want to swap it. Or either swap it or check and see if we've got any worms, worm fusions available. Uh, let's just change this stuff off real quick. Dragon Trine! Are we going to see Brick Eyes again? Oh man, but I don't have my uh, core destroyer. Damn it! <laughs> At least I'll gain the 200 attack, buddy. Get ready, blue eyes. I'm gonna obliterate you with an extra 200 damage. Yeah, you'll surrender just like the last guy. <laughs> That's right, baby. I'm playing Ally of Justice. You better be scared. Oh man! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to go with the standard play. Alternative, use alternative's effect, special summon jet. We already know how this deck works. <laughs> it's a good combo, though. It's good. I think my best bet here is actually hope he bounces this card 
we've got a level four and we've got a level four in our hand potentially go for crazy box hmm i could block the damage but no no yeah let's uh, just hope he bounces the one on the left hmm okay 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 probably throw down some face downs <laughs> This event's been a lot of fun so far. Yeah. Ah. Nice. Not bad. Prime Photon, baby. Alright. What else? Armor Photon. Da, 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 da. Note to self, I may want to add at least one kaiju to this deck. Because I think there is a light one, yes? Yeah, there is. Hmm. A -da -da, ba -da -da. lot of face downs there, amigo. Hmm, interesting. Alright, there's no way this works where I normal summon Rocket and um, we get to exceed summon, but uh, I'll give it the good old college try, guys. Yeah, there's no way that works, though. Hmm, it's got Jet to protect everything as well. Hmm, interesting. So our options are Malevolent Sin. Hmm. Well, if I banish this card, it loses all its materials. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. We could just go for Broke here to draw a card. Hmm. Hmm. Or destroy a card. I think what sounds the most fun... Hmm... Is getting rid of all the materials, actually. So, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, he happened to play an Exceed monster, so... It's just a great way to deal with it. Malevolent Sin. So I'll detach this. And, uh... Banish it until the next standby phase. See ya, amigo. It's not like this card has any any form of protection, so yeah. Bye bye, materials. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's uh, set two and pass. All right. Hmm. Pretty interesting turn. <laughs> you can't use your monster's effect. <laughs> yeah, that's why Malevolent Sin's good. Very good against fellow Exceeds monsters. Yeah. And then sometimes, like, all they have is one thing in your way, so you can just banish it, and then, uh, yeah, attack direct. Potentially get game. So, sometimes it's that easy, boys. Nice. Second alternative. That should be GG. Hmm. Didn't draw Sangan this time. I mean, I guess I could have went for Tomato, but he's got like the effect destruction, so kind of didn't matter on that one. As far as the battle floating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, if I had Jetonian Palmer here, buddy, you'd be sorry. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that's why I'm running, like, Chthilne and Palmer in this deck, because, like, a lot of decks love to fuse, you know, that are light and dark, like, blue eyes, branded, etc., you know what I mean? So, but to be fair, he did play it right, though. He cleared everything out first, so 
Chetonian Palmer does need a tribute as well, but uh, yeah, definitely a good reason for me to be running it. Because like, imagine if I still had a monster on the field here, and this guy's just BMing into like Blue Eyes Twin Burst. <laughs> Dude, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> just to swipe it and kill it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's another reason why it's bad to BM. I mean, you never know what your opponent can have, so. Alright. Uh, so two things. Kaiju. I definitely want to search for at least one Kaiju. And check on the worms. Check on Call of the Haunted. So, okay. Get our 50 medals. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, how many are we up to, by the way? At 3550? Nice. It's a lot higher than I thought we'd be at this point. Alright. So let's search for Worm. Worm here. Okay. Yeah, Yazi. Oh, Yazi's generic, so... Hmm. Because yeah, there are certain things that need Worm types. Ooh, we could play Blackout. Hmm, that is interesting. Hmm, 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 okie dokie. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, and this does give us a free token as well, right? If this card is banished, hmm, hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, but how am I banishing it? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh-huh. There we go. And then, let's see. Ah, a macro is loud. Interesting. Yeah, this does hand bone certain strategies, such as blue eyes. Let's throw that in. Uh-huh. And then let's, uh... Right, call the haunted, right. Yeah, let's add a couple of these. Uh, kaiju is the only other thing I was thinking about. Yeah, because, you know, okay, looks like the only one we've got is Radian that's uh, available for Dark, but honestly, that's fine. Uh, even just having one is uh, gives me a little peace of mind. How many monsters have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, seems pretty good to me. Um, a little bit of anti-synergy with macro and uh, the revival stuff, but hmm, sometimes you won't always draw one or the other, you know, so. Wow, and we've got one, two, three, four, eight, like 11, 12 revival cards. Holy shit. That's a lot more than I feel like this deck deserves to have. <laughs> uh, uh, one other card we could add. I just thought of is like called by the grave. That's honestly pretty good. So. <clears throat> there we go. Now we can counter grass. Ooh, speaking of that, is grass legal in this event? I've got some ideas for future streams. I just need to know. I need to know right now. Let's see. Hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, we might be playing a little f more fun deck the next time we stream this. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I'm sure that laugh sounded really evil, but I have this uh, terrific idea for a deck, so yeah, you'll see. We'll see, we'll see. You know. Maybe I won't fill up the stream yet. Maybe I will. You know, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> All right.
All right. Let's just pass. I guess I could have set called by the grave, but nah. nah. <laughs> Brick eyes again. Hmm. Good to know. I'm expecting the usual OTK here, you know, get out jet and whatnot, and then uh, maybe a monster born for the blue eyes. Pretty easy OTK, honestly. I just really wanted to see the animation twice on that one. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> oh, nice. And he didn't attack us. Appreciate that. How are you? Hello, uh, Art Rad. Is that Rad TV? Uh, doing all right. How's your morning going? Do, 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 do. Hmm. Let us play a mods a card face down. Uh, doing all right myself. Sweet. Uh, finished my. Oh, Ninja. Yeah, that sounds fun. Do, 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 uh, I think Senior Silver Ninja is my favorite soul charge in the entire game. <laughs> do, do. And also, duplication goes pretty hard. You can basically get, get any Link 4 you want on a just vanilla Hanzo, which is pretty, pretty crazy, honestly. You're gonna have a hard time with the Ally of Justice in the event. That's the plan. <laughs> you know, you get medals no matter what. So, I mean, I'm just really playing like, I, I'm just like, you know, what's the dumbest deck I can think of? <laughs> what's the most, you know, most do, most deck unlikely to succeed? What's the deck that no one would expect anybody, anybody in the entire world to play in this event? And I was just like, you know what? Ally of Justice. So. There's actually an Ally of Justice monster for th that actually would be pretty good in this event if it was legal. It's called Ally of Justice Quarantine, which prevents the special summon of all light monsters. Uh, it's actually banned for this event, but uh, like it, this matchup in particular against uh, Brick Eyes would be pretty solid, honestly. Um, but uh, we actually have gotten like three wins already this stream, which <laughs> it's crazy. Like I. Definitely wouldn't expect it, but uh, hey, it is what it is, man. Yeah, so. And like, the, the nice thing about these events is that, you know, you get medals no matter what, so, you know, I'm just, you know. Yep, 
playing the dumbest deck I can think of. You know, seeing if we can do a little trolling. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, what deck do you have going, uh, Rat Rat TV, for the event? Like a uh, ninjas? I don't think all of them are light and dark though. Yeah, they're like all different attributes from what I. Yeah, yeah. What deck are you rocking, buddy? Dun, 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 dun. Infernity. That is a pretty good jet. Pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Got nerfed in the event. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what cards got banned for Infernity? Uh, oh yeah, Launcher One. Yeah, yeah. That, it seems like they either do that every event, Launcher to One, or just outright ban it. So, yeah, that's to be expected, though. You know. Ah, targeting blue eyes, huh? Well, what if I point the finger at it? What will you do then? See ya, blue eyes. Hehe. <laughs> Noah's a effect for you. Now take my finger. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, this event's been pretty fun so far, though. Priestess. Don't they have Jet? Uh, oh no, they haven't drawn Jet yet, I see. Oh, it's only a matter of time. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I was almost missing Jet for a minute. I was just like, man, what the hell? <laughs> it's not a blue eyes duel until you see Jet and Alternative. There's the Jet. Meet George Jetson. Dun, 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 dun. Now he'll probably bounce the monster. That's the smart call. But I'm going to try to uh, trick him here. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Redeclare. You want the free damage? It's all yours, pal. What you bouncing? What decks I got? Um, so, like the main thing I built in this game, hmm, that's the most recent, I'd say. Um, nothing too good. To be quite honest, I haven't played uh, Master Duel in quite a while. But like the last deck I remember building was like Counter Fairies. Because uh, they got some... Oh, no, no, no. It was the uh, yeah the Fiend and Fairy event. And I unlocked the like the Parshath back. So I just, you know, built a bunch of those. Um, but yeah, I also built like Black Wings at some point. And like Sword Soul, yeah. Definitely got Sword Soul now that they've got the secret packs out and stuff. So, yeah, stuff like that. So, um, let's see here. Okay, there's that. Got the field filled up. I guess we can go with Desperado here. So, I'll tribute two little goats for Desperado. Hmm, we definitely want to get rid of Azure Eyes. Uh, now this only prevents card effects, right? A special summon quarantine here. Okay. Hmm. Return to the hand. Okay. And this effect has since worn off. Let's see what we can go into here. Hmm. Oh, I could also go into Decode Talker, which honestly might be pretty good here. Uh, yeah, sure. So we'll do this and this. And, oh, it only takes effect monsters. Can't use a token. Hmm. I think we're better off with just what we got. Okay, well, it's up to the coin flip here, boys and girls. 
Desperado. Mm hmm. Alright, we gotta go after Jet here, obviously. Ooh, bad roll. Oh well. Uh, let's take out Jet. Very good. Now, we can't attack, but, uh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was definitely hoping for, like, two there. But, uh. It's all good. We will set. The Blackout. And, of course, Palmer. If he fusions, that, uh. Could be very good for us. But we definitely got a, enough to hold on here. So. As far as, uh... Well, you could ride Gekyu, though. <laughs> but if not ride Gekyu, we can stall for a while. Blue eyes. Hmm. Straight up battle phase. Okay, well... Uh, let's give this another whirl, I guess. Sweet. Say goodbye to Exodia. <laughs> yeah, you'll get your jet, but uh, the main thing is we cleared out Azura Eyes there. Very important. Smart move. What you bouncing, buddy? That's probably the wrong call. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna troll so hard here. This is gonna be hilarious. Ready? Ready, everyone? We're gonna. We're about to get a stream highlight. Ah, Ultimate fusion. Nice card. Be a shame if something happened to it. For blue eyes, ultimate dragon, huh? You don't say. I can't believe we got this effect to resolve. <laughs> Give you that. <laughs> oh, yes. It feels good when a duel goes precisely as you plan. Now your ultimate dragon's mine. <laughs> What's funny is we can't do crap with it, but uh, that is hilarious, man. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> What's funny is the best thing we can do with this is, like, link it off. So and that's precisely what we're going to do. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see. Switch that to defense. Uh, I'm pretty sure he still has the bounce effect because <laughs> he's got blue eyes in the grave, right? Uh, let's see. Blue eyes in gray. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Wait, he doesn't have the bounce? Neutron Blast! <laughs> nice blue eyes deck, bro. Just thought I'd take your ultimate for a spin, man. <laughs> oh, man. What a hilarious highlight, though. Well, this has been a pretty fun stream. I, I don't care what happens after this or before, but, uh... <laughs> That clip right there is going to be worth it, for sure. Oh my god. Ooh, Thunder Armor. Hey, this gives us piercing, right? Ooh. Yummy. Alright, I sacrifice. Escape Ghost and a Black Sheep Token. Wow. This deck has plays, baby, to summon Thunder Armor. Ew. Thunder Spolt. And we win, boys. Neutron Blast. <laughs> You're a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. Now get out of my sights. Ally of Dust Justice too strong, baby. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Well, that was fun. <laughs> oh my god.
I wish Ally of Justice got more support. I want to use it in ranked. Um, I, I thought they might, um, because they did like a solo mode event for, um, yeah, but yeah, no, nah, no, nah, it's just, uh, yeah, not quite happening. It's pretty interesting, though. Uh, I would say their best card, without a doubt, would be, um, let's see if I can show you the, here. I think their best card is probably, even still to this day, yeah, when this came out, Decisive Armor, yeah, there are just certain matchups, you know, if you keep this in your side deck, this is without a doubt their best card, because this reads, like, the second effect and the Nouvelle archetype to come. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for Nouvelle as well. The uh, Hungry Burger. But uh, yeah, Decisive Armor is basically Harpy's Feather Duster. And But the, this effect, this last one, is potentially the most broken effect. Uh, yeah, it's in your entire hand. And if they're just on lights, like Blue Eyes, and you nail, like, you just nail two Blue Eyes, you basically win. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy card, honestly. Um, yeah. What are we up against here? Ah, just Phantom Knight's uh, OTK. Okay. Well, this guy's going to combo for 20 minutes, so I'm just going to take a little break here. Take a little stretch break. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for the uh, Hungry Burger stuff, too. Uh, don't know exactly how good the Nouvelle and stuff will be, but, uh, yeah, I'll give it a try, you know. All right. Uh, by the way, uh, have you built the, like, the Kash... Kash... What, it's called, like, Kashakira or Kashtira? The lockdown combo with the Sh Shangri-La? I think that's what it's called yet? Where you lock down all the zones? Or are you still trying to pull some of the cards you need? I haven't made cash tier. Yeah, me either. Yeah. Uh, we did open a few of the packs, and I got my first ogre. I don't build any meta decks. Ah, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, the just casual. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for the most part, same here. Like, that's exactly why I'm playing Ally of Justice. Just because, like, it's fun, and you get medals no matter what. So, um, but yeah, honestly... But uh, after seeing the highlights of the uh, World Championship that one time, I was just like, yeah, Kashitura is way too good to ignore. Um, you know, I, I imagine they'll, you know, ban and hit it eventually, but it's going to be around for a while. So, and, you know, if they don't draw like a Kaiju, then it's just, it's just, you know, easy wins, which is like, you know, gems and stuff. So, um... Well, yeah, but I can, I can understand the uh, the hate against it, though. If you don't like it, I perfectly agree with you. But it's just, it's too good to ignore, man. I, 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 I can't, you know, I can't not try to build it. I don't really care if others make it, to be honest. Yeah, same here, uh, uh, R R Rad TV. Like, cause, uh, oh no, your name says, uh, Rad ETY, my bad. I just have a rule for myself not to use meta. Yeah, that does make it a little more interesting, I have to agree. Um, yeah. Yep, each his own. Call me Rad if it's easier. Okay, Rad. But, uh, yeah, yeah, typically, like, uh, I don't build too much meta either. Um, it's really been a while since I even played Master Duel, because I kind of took, like, a much-needed break, you know, after, you know, tier elements, because I was just, I found myself getting, like, a little too frustrated, and I'm just like, you know, man, it's just, it's just the game, so, it's just like, yeah, you can take a break, you know, um, because it turns out, you know, I like building a lot of graveyard reliant decks, and if you can't use your graveyard, it's kind of annoying. That up. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do here? Hmm. 
the DPE. Yeah, this is no bueno, honestly. Uh, this guy's got any lights. No, he's going dark deck, right? Yeah. Hmm. I think the best case scenario. Huh. DPE's the real problem here. I could have used a lot more spells and traps. But, uh... Eh, let's just summon this. And this should be over pretty quick. Oh, he's gonna let me do this? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's have this, because it's got 3,000. Is this affected by card effects? Let's see, let's read here. Uh... Okay. All right. Battle Fox. I guess Black Wings do have, you know, bigger fish to fry. So, don't really blame him for not using D DPE there. And he may also just be waiting on the end phase, you know. If your opponent sets a bunch of back row, so see now he can just use it and even though this is a bluff, like let's say it was storming mirror force, you just take it out right away. So yeah, not too bad. In fact he didn't even need to use it. So Huh, in fact, why didn't he use it there? Because if you do use it, then uh eh, whatever. I guess it lets him combo with uh abomination as well. Because of the destructions. But uh yeah, most people, you don't actually see, uh, like, Fusion Destiny resolving with the, uh, <laughs> the destruction effect, but, uh, interesting. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Yeah, Phantom Knights seem pretty fun to play. Uh, I think I built that deck as well and tried it out once. Uh, but yeah, the biggest problem for them is uh, number one, Maxi, and number two, Nibiru. But uh, yeah, those aren't allowed in this event, so honestly, it seems pretty fun. And it's pretty consistent as well. Yeah, redoer, baby. Nice. Do 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 do. And they may they may uh, be a little more. Just go for some some extra dailies. Uh, I think I've got all mine done at this point. So we're good. Ba -na -na -da -na -da -na -na. Yeah, yeah. That's that's probably what I liked best is about when I played uh, Phantom Knights. Uh, uh, just being able to search out uh, effect negation like Fog Blade, man, it's such a good feeling. So, yep. Oh man, you could have beamed a little more. What? You didn't go into any rank threes? It is nice to see Tour Guide though. <laughs> man, I remember that format. You know. Uh, back about uh, six years ago or eight years ago when basically if you didn't have tour, tour guide you know you just weren't playing <laughs> that was fun but uh, yeah I think I've still got uh, two or three secret rares of that pretty cool uh, let's see so we're up to 4300 gems I think we'll, let's go for like 5000 today and we'll call it good on the stream uh, but yeah, a little later today, I plan to record some more Pokemon Platinum Randomizer for YouTube. And like, uh, I think I need to record Dragon Ball Z as well. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited I finally got this to work. Because <clears throat> the past couple streams, man, that was a struggle. They just, uh, we just couldn't get the games to go through for some weird reason. But, uh, yeah. All right. Ah, seed. You do DBZ. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, so I've got a YouTube channel. It's the same name as my Twitch, and like right now we're playing uh, Legacy of Goku 2. Pretty old school game, but uh, the main thing is, is like, it's pretty fun, man. Uh, it basically just takes you from the start of, you know, when uh, Trunks comes to fight Frieza. Ah, Rocket OTK, nice. Yeah, from that to um, the end of the Cell Saga. So, and like, long story short, it's kind of an excuse for me to do all the voices. <laughs> like, you know, all the abridged voices like Piccolo, Goku, etc. You know, Krillin, you know. Yeah, pretty fun. Uh, do you like to play any other games besides uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Rad? Like, if so, like, uh, what's what's uh, some of your favorites? Play indie games mostly. Well, yeah, heck yeah. Enter the Gungeon. Mm, nice. I think my favorite game or series series of games um, is actually something I've never let's play, but I probably should. Um, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I, I just really like I play some Rocket League and yeah, yeah, Xenoverse is fun. Yeah, and Rocket League as well. So, uh, but yeah, the Crash Bandicoot games uh, as well as like Spyro the Dragon. Yeah, really, I just, you know, I grew up with them. I love the story. It's fun series of games, man. I love that they did the uh, remix a couple years ago as well. Okay, he's pretty likely to get a trap card here. Well, let's see. Mm hmm. Yeah, we had, um, growing up, we had. Oh, he grabbed a uh, gateway. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, growing up, we had. You know, just the regular, regular old PlayStation. And yeah, um, my dad actually worked at uh, KB Toys, which was, which was like a very old uh, toy store. And yeah, one day he just, he brought home, one Christmas he brought home PlayStation. And then in the next couple months was uh, my birthday. So uh, yeah, he bought me Crash Bandicoot and fell in love, you know, got really lucky, you know. He didn't keep that job for too long, but he kept it long enough to get, you know, uh, the PlayStation and some other stuff on discount. So, and luckily, uh, we got like Crash and like, oh, I got like Duelist of the Roses for PlayStation 2, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, you know, all the classic stuff, Final Fantasy, you know, 7. So, yeah. Good times, man. Good times. <laughs> Well, he gets to draw an extra card as well as special summon more rockets. So, uh, realistically, he should be able to OTK me here. Uh, if he doesn't, I guess we'll see. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know about you, Red, but uh, one thing I'm pretty glad about is what was your first deck on Master Duel? 
Um, my first deck was actually the uh, the junk deck, you know, with junk Synchron and I think it's called Synchron Extreme or something. Uh, I got pretty lucky, and honestly, um, my first duel was against a Shadal player, and yeah, we actually got lucky enough to deck him out. It was pretty interesting, so um, yeah. But uh, uh, they've got plenty of n new support for it. Uh, yeah, and of course, like I've definitely built like a junk speeder deck before. Uh, you know, mainly because you know that comes with some of the cards you need for it. So yeah, I was pretty excited once uh, Speeder came out, as well as some of the other you know just general Synchron uh, support monsters. So yeah. see here what does this do by the way oh we got gateway you can detach one target an next seed in your grave except gaga -ga -ga. oh so right now i see i see interesting so right now it does nothing oh does he have all three effects oh my god wow that's pretty damn good i must say Hmm. That's a bit of a problem, if I'm being quite frank. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get him to use it right away. Hmm. The only problem is that I don't really have a follow up if he does. Hmm. Hey, let's go for it. <laughs> no two ways around it, really. Mm hmm. Long story short, our only chance is we really got him get him to waste some materials. He's not going into it, huh? Hmm. Interesting. All right, you're up, mummy. <clears throat> there we go. Yep, seed played it pretty smart here. So that's it for Mascarena. Huh? Huh. Gave us blackout though. Hmm. Okie dokie. That's best case scenario, really. Because uh, the smart play there, obviously, is if you get all three effects with Redoer, yeah, just detach a monster. That way you keep all three effects, which is best case scenario, yeah. And then you just keep attaching stuff, and then de keep detaching what you have duplicates of. So, slight misplay by Seed, but uh, eh, will it matter? Probably not. <laughs> oh, you got another trap, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do have a lot of traps in this deck, though, so that's to be expected. I also have one kaiju in this deck, and uh, honestly, best case scenario, we just keep stalling them out, and we eventually kaiju it. <clears throat> hmm. Well, should I time machine? Mm, why not? Why not? <clears throat> hmm. Uh, I guess also Raigeki would be pretty helpful. If nothing else, it would get him to, you know, uh, reset. Yeah, because I know Redoer can dodge, but the fact that it has so much material is a little scary. Oh yeah, we got Carl Hall. Oh yeah. He's going to gain the 200 attack. Um, <laughs> Watch out, Banner of Courage. You've been power crept, man. 
I guess the good part is he's bricking too. It's pretty obvious he is, because if he wasn't, you know, he would have made a power push quite a while ago. Uh, let's just set this and call it good. Hmm. Yeah, we've got plenty of stall cards in here as far as like summoning tokens and stuff, so. <clears throat> if we get. If we draw some of them, and he keeps just not doing diddly. We could make a comeback here, honestly. The fact that he hasn't taken us out already is actually more encouraging than it is discouraging. And, like, he's definitely not using the draw effect either. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, because, like, he could have been drawing, like, three cards by now. <laughs> Because he grabbed uh, Hippo Carnival and uh, Magnet Reverse quite a while ago. So, that's honestly helping us as well. Being very courteous. See, it is. <laughs> Alright. Rocket Power. Uh huh. Quick Launch. Yeah, most of the time when I fight rockets, uh, usually you see this turn one, you know, you're getting OTK'd, so. And of course, you usually see the combos into, you know, boot sector pretty, pretty easily, so. Because <clears throat> since they're all dragons, you can basically, you know, dragon link, combo off, add a bunch of stuff, get whatever you need, so. Rockets are amazingly consistent. I've never actually played them myself, but, you know, you run into them all the time, so pretty easy to understand how the deck works, too. Yep, and there's Striker, so here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty glad summer's almost over. Um, it actually feels fantastic here today. It's like uh, about 60 degrees right now to start this morning. And like, the high's only gonna be like in the 80s. So, yeah. End of summer is like one of the best times of the year, man. It starts to feel good. You can like go outside and play a little b-ball or do whatever. And just chill outside, you know? World. I don't think I've ever seen this card. Well, wait, maybe I have actually. This is the... All right, yeah, I actually have seen this card. It's the uh, Graveyard Reviver, which is honestly pretty good. Still not enough damage, so looks like we're holding on here somehow. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, definitely like uh, Seeds holding back quite a bit though. Like I said, they probably could have drawn three or four cards so far. Well, actually, this is a quick effect, so 
Um. Oh no, no, the ad's a quick effect, but still, yeah. Yeah, he definitely could have drawn like boot through the cards by now, so. Uh, the fact that we're still gaming is pretty surprising. That could be good, actually. Hmm, all we need for this is just an oasis of Dragon Soul. And I've got three in the deck, so. Hmm, we'll see. The turn, the duel this turn is gonna be obviously summon something, destroy this, and pass. So, but we'll keep Blackout in hand, I guess. <laughs> you got Chithonian Palmer. Nice. Alright. Which is kind of good, you know. We don't want to draw that in this situation. <laughs> there he goes. Okay. Yeah. Bum ba da ba dum bum ba bum bum ba bum. Very good. And then we will pass. Go ahead, amigo. That should be game, though. Yep. Yeah, this was definitely not the usual uh, rocket duel. This was basically Time Thief Redoer Control, which is interesting, I guess. Definitely not the strangest deck we've ever lost to, but uh, meh, I like it actually. Not much of a control strategy though, considering there was no back row here the entire time. <laughs> so, pretty easily to get through in a normal deck, but uh, yeah, makes for good content, honestly. Pretty interesting. Yeah, that is an option. If your opponent's just bricks, yeah, Time Thief Control. Although, to be quite frank, the fact that you're using Time Thief for that many turns in a row, really, it, it mathematically, it just kind of increases the odds that your opponent draws an out, because you're taking a, a card from their deck every turn, which means they've got a better chance to draw, like, what they need, you know. Access code, boo. That's boring. Come on, man. You could have finished me off with something cooler than that. <laughs> Dude, you play Time Thief Control, you know, something, you know, aesthetically pleasing, something, you know, unique, something cool for, uh, you know, nine turns in a row, man. And then at the end, basically what you just did is it's like throwing a party where everyone's getting laid, and at the end of it, you know, you know what you did at the end of it? At the end of it, uh, you said, ha ha, joke's on you. Uh, I have an STD, and I slept with everyone. So, that's that's what you did. That's what you did by playing this monster. That's what you did. That's what you did, see. <laughs> you brought gonorrhea to the party. Congratulations. You played yourself. I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> Alright. That might make the highlight reel, though, honestly. Time Thief Control. Pretty interesting deck. Alright. Um, I'm going to take a quick, like, two-minute bathroom break, and I'll be right back. <laughs>
Oh. You guys, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a few more gems. Um, probably open some of the. Uh, excuse me, the new pack there. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> can't made it. <laughs> can't believe I made the joke about the party there. <laughs> that was funny. But no, no, no. I stand by it. I stand by it. You know, access code finishes are just, they're just so boring, man. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, good. Let's see. We're up to 700 gems. Um. Okay, uh, let's buy one of this Kashitira pack. And then we'll buy... Let's buy three Sword Soul packs, actually. I think I'm still looking for, like, one more Moye. Alright. Oh, yeah. I'm having fun up here with this deck, though. Man, I like... I, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm still cheesing, man. I'm still cheesing about that. <laughs> Dude, that Blue Eyes Ultimate Duel? <laughs> that was hilarious, bro. That was... <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe like he was going for the cheese, you know, he was going for the BM with uh ultimate fusion. And we uh we just yanked it. We stole it. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Okay, don't know if you guys heard that, but that has me a little worried. Um, let me check on my phone and make sure we're still streaming here. Whoa, hang on, hang on one second. Whoa. Okay, that was really weird. Let's try another pack, see if that happens again. Okay, well, everything seems fine now, but that was a pretty weird, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> stutter by my computer, like a glitch or something. It was just like, man, I never heard such scary sounds before playing Master Duel. Okay, wow, well, all right. All right, let's hope that doesn't happen anymore the rest of the stream. Gee, you lookers. <laughs> Crazy man. Holy crap. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, we got some good stuff on this one. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Golden Yazi. Ooh, a grand horn of heaven. Nice. This card's honestly not all that bad, yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, huh? I might actually put that in right now. Grand Horn. All right, and we got Yazi, so hmm, not bad, not bad at all. Okay, well, let's back on out of here. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. I don't know if the duel will go through. To be quite honest, after. Uh, <laughs> After seeing that glitch, but uh, we're going to try, boys and girls.
Hmm. All right. Not a bad pool at all, honestly. Um. For Yazi, I think I'll take a uh, crazy box. There we go. Oops. Oh, right. I threw in um, Grand Horn. Uh, I guess let's take out maybe Metal Morph. <laughs> yeah, probably. Actually, let's take out Light in the Load. I haven't found myself actually bricking too much on the high level stuff. Um, so, we don't need Light in the Load. I thought we would, but. Uh, yeah, the gateways have actually not been hand boning us as much as I thought they would. So that's good. go. Let's cross our fingers. Hopefully we're up against the light deck. Ooh. I like this hand. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, to start. Sangan attack mode. Yeah, Sangan limit reverse. Mm-mm. That's mm-mm good. Just like the soup. Campbell soup. <laughs> All right, good first turn, good first turn. All right. Nope, no need to play scapegoat yet. We'll try to wait till the end phase or the lightning storm, so. Hmm, is it Brick Eyes again? <gasps> no way, it's Brick Eyes, guys. I never thought I'd see the day where my ally of Justice Garrett Hall can gain 200 attack. Let's make it happen, boys. <laughs> ah, not bad. I'm guessing uh, white stone to get a blue eyes in your hand. Right. Huh. A lot of blue eyes decks we've been running into. Um, I would say blue eyes has been 50% of the duels so far on stream. That seems pretty unlikely, but, uh, eh, whatever. <laughs> hey, that just means, hey, light decks, if light deck is the meta, uh, that just means, you know, gateway is a free special summon. Easy. Ah, Jet, you know, that does seem like the correct pick. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. She saw so say. If only I had called by the grave. Nope. Good. Wait, by the way, why couldn't I use Grand Horn there? Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway. Hmm. This effect does target, yes? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what they target. I may play scapegoat. I may not. Nope. What you bouncing, buddy? What you bouncing, Jet? What you bouncing? Huh. Okay, that's fine. So with Sangan, we will take. Hmm. Let's just take our good old buddy Core Destroyer. Hell yeah. Looks good to me. Get some gas face down on the field too. Now I expect like two or three back row, but yeah. White stone, okay. Playing it safe, I guess. Link curry bow. Um. 
Oh, Azurize, right. Oh, no, oh, that's Spirit. Hmm. Okay. Wait a second. Doesn't that stop Scapegoat? Hmm. Interesting. Well played. That does stop Scapegoat. Hmm. I didn't even think about Spirit. But that's pretty good right here. Hmm. Well, he doesn't. He, this guy doesn't even know it, but he is floodgating me right now. Because I would have loved to scapegoat there and do a bunch of link summons next turn, but. Uh, hmm. We've got this, though. No worries, guys. Okay, and that'll search for what? Uh, Chaos Form? Oh, no. Alternative. Yeah, it's not a blue eyes duel until you see alternative and um, jet. So there you go. Hmm. All right, gateway would go ham taro here. Ooh, that helps as well, honestly. Because spirit likes to tag out, right? Hmm. Uh-huh. See ya, spirit. Hmm. So this is a two. Sangin's a three. Hmm. Hmm. Not quite the right levels, but it is interesting. Hmm. Okay. We'll just try to clear this abyss. Hmm. Oh, Core Destroyer, attack. And I'll use the effect of Core Destroyer, of course. Mm hmm. Jet. Okie dokie. Your move. We should be fine here as far as the duel goes. The main thing helping us is we've got a uh, Grand Horn. So if he tries to special summon something. We can uh, get him to go straight into the battle phase. So, yeah, and he may go for alternative because he searched for regular blue eyes. So, hmm, wait, that's a summon right there, right? Weird. I guess I can't use Grand Horn on, uh, oh no, it was adding it. So now he'll try. Huh, let's see if Grand Horn works here. Okay. That might be an inherent. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. All right, your main phase is over, bro. Congratulations. All right, battle phase time for you. What you got? Mm-hmm. Looks like he won't be OTK me so easily. Hmm, that's the correct decision. All right. Hmm, I guess we'll spare our life points a teeny bit. Sure, scapegoat. See if they get in the gate for this. Nope, we're good. All right, and they should jet a card up. Oh, they actually got rid of a goat. Hmm. Interesting decision. Very interesting. Hmm. Because that leaves limit reverse on the field. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. They've got a lot of gas still here, though. Yeah, we definitely saved ourselves with Grand Horn. Bought us another turn. 
see. Hmm. There's spirit once again. Hmm, interesting. Uh huh. Hmm. I think our best bet may be. Hmm, to actually go for Summer Master of all things. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. Tyrant, that's uh, interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, okay. Let's start with Limit Reverse. On Sand Gap. Hmm. Bow, wow, 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 Good call. Good call, amigo. Do, 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 do. Not much I could have done about that there. Alrighty. Well, with that, let's get on out of here, boys. Escape goats, attack mode. But we ha we have the combo, you know, because we can special summon this right here. And then, uh, yeah, all we needed was the three from Zangan. We were good to go, so. Uh, I guess let's get the Link Summon bonus. And we'll call it good. All we have to do is go into uh, Tyrant there. And we're good. Alrighty. Battle Fox. And how much more? Very good. There you go. Alright, we'll just move on to the next one. Easy. <laughs> yeah, I think Armor Master, I don't think he... Well, I mean, he had two face downs. So maybe they had a way through it, but uh, I think, uh, yeah, that would have been the play for sure. All right. Do, 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 do. Uh, by the way, what time is it here? Cause I, I do have some other YouTube videos and stuff I want to work on today. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's like 8.53, right about 9 o'clock, and I think I started this around, uh, what, around like 6 or so. Well, tell you what, everyone, uh, yeah, I think I'll just, uh, this will be the last duel, unless we get OTK'd. If we get OTK'd, then, uh, we'll do another one after. Hmm, interesting hand. Go ahead. Dunya. <laughs> Dunya like dinner. First time we've drawn Iron Call um, for our Ally of Justice deck. Pretty good though. It's basically like a mini monster born from machines. The main combo with this is to get Unlimiter back and then keep using its effects. So, ooh, that really hand bones my deck. Good strategy. Da -da -da -da. Yep, Exo Sisters love to be banished, so not bad, not bad at all. And they also don't fusion, so this is like the perfect deck against mine, really. Alright.
This is a light monster, so here we go. Gateway. Attack mode. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, they've got some uh, interaction here, so. All right. <clears throat> okay. And you don't want to fall for their traps, so we will set four. Call it good. Alrighty. Combo time number two. Same combo as the first turn, really. That should be game here. I think all they have to do is attack. Yep. So. GG. All right. So, pretty good stream overall. About like five or six blue eyes decks. An Exo Sister, Time Thief Control, ruined by, you know, the guy who accidentally brought something bad to the party. <laughs> and then, uh, what was the other unique deck we saw? the start screen. Hmm. I'll look at the decks after. But yeah, there was a pretty good unique... Oh yeah, Silent Swordsman as well. Silent level deck? Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good to stream overall. Alright. And... Oh, we only need 50 medals for 50 more gems? Yeah, why not? Why not? You know. I'll do that and we'll call it good. Yep. Yeah. Pretty fun as that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and then, man, like, I love playing, like, uh, troll decks like Ally Justice, because, like, dude, everyone's out here with, you know, with try hard decks, like, you know, full meta, you know, tears or full meta Exo Sister, whatever. <laughs> or just sitting here, like, hey, bro, you know, I'm just here for the gems, bro. The gems and the content. And, like, honestly, the duel with the Blue Eyes Ultimate, like, that's gonna. <laughs> Oh man, that's that's good. that made like my month, not my week, not my day. That made my month. Cause like, bro, there was no need for him to go into ultimate there <laughs> with ultimate fusion, but he did. Uh, 
But yeah, that 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 duel alone should be a good lesson for you. Ooh, back to back Exo Sister, nice. But yeah, that duel alone should be a lesson to you, man. Like, if you don't need to BM, you probably shouldn't, you know. Yeah. Like, I mean, now if you feather duster their back row or all their interaction, that's one thing, but like, yeah, dude. <laughs> like, you never know what effects might be lurking. So. Huh, this is a bit of a different monster, eh? Cap bisque. Wait, it says this is banned. Oh, wait, what? Wait, hang on. It says Exosister Cap Capitel's banned. Huh. Wait, so is this card banned? Huh. I'll have to check the ban list after this. Is it? <laughs> Did they miss a card that they banned? Like, is this somehow allowed in the event? But it's actually banned on ladder? That's pretty weird. It says this card's banned too. Oh, maybe that's the case with, uh... What? That's weird. Hang on. Weird. Did they just miss the, uh... What? I'll have to check that out after this. Interesting. <laughs> Why is it saying that? That is very strange. Huh. Okay. I'll have to check that out after this duel. Huh. I hadn't even thought to look at that. That is weird. Wow. Huh. Well, yeah, let's end this really quick. Feather Duster. And we're just going to throw a uh, Sharnga in. Because that will end it, right? Oh man, no, that'll leave us with a hundred. I'm still gonna do it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright. I special shaman. Sharanga. Huh. But I <laughs> Boy, they shotgun that uh that Magnifica effect though. <laughs> Honestly, my best bet probably would have been if I just really, you know, wanted to try to hang on, set blackout, see if they banish it. <laughs> but uh yeah, we're good. I'm just here for the medals, bruh. Thanks, Ka. Thanks, Fun Decker. <laughs> nice name. I like that name. All right, and we get another fifty gems. Easy, man. All right, boys, we're doing it. Ally of Justice. We're getting all the gems. Next stream, we're going for the three hundred. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and eventually, all the legacy tickets. Well, all right, everyone. This has been a pretty fun stream. Yeah, let me check on the Exo Sister cards. That's weird. Did they like? ban cards for the event but somehow you're allowed to slip them in I, I, that that's pretty strange so let's go to the exo sister exceeds monsters so i'll check here and then i'll check um i'll check the ranked as well because that's pretty strange because it had the band symbol through a couple cards let's see x o sister huh um, okay, let's save this deck here. I think I have to change to the uh, light side, right? So let's change group. This is the deck I was testing the event in before stream. Obviously, the uh, I was testing the uh, counter fairy deck. But uh, yeah, let's go for Exos. Yeah, so there's a quick look at the counter fairy deck if you're just, you know, really interested in how I build. Yeah. Basically, same as always, you focus on getting out, uh, yeah, Celestial Night Lord Parshath. Pretty easy. And of course, we still have the anti fusion stuff. Definitely comes up in this festival. Also, pretty hilarious clear worlds in this deck. <laughs> and uh, when I was testing, I ham owned a Blackwing player because they can't read. So <laughs> it was pretty funny. They, they kept going to the battle phase and not attacking. And like, they had negation. They had Hot Red Dragon Affine uh, Abyss on the field, <laughs> but they never used its effect on Clear World. It was hilarious. Uh, anyway. 
As a matter of fact, I'm gonna add Clear World to the other deck. It's just so funny. Um, huh. Oh, okay. Well, it doesn't have the ban symbol there. Weird. So it might be banned on ladder. It was this card, right? It was this card, yeah, and uh, Mika Aelis. So weird, yeah. Why did it have the band symbol through there? I don't know, that was that's pretty strange. Um, I guess I can check all of these too. Yeah, that was uh, that was quite strange, I must say. Yeah, because it looks like you can add if you have them, you can add them. So weird, huh? I don't know. Maybe someone just missed that netting. I don't know. Um, or maybe, okay, let's go over here to ranked and let's see if any Exo Sisters are banned here. I don't think they are. Hmm. Has been a while since I've seen one, but, uh, let's see. Exo Sister. Sorry, guys. Like, I'm just legit curious why that happened. No, no. Mika, Mika Elis is not banned. And what was the other card? Yeah, this one had the band symbol. Weird. Yeah, when I went to check it in game, like you could clearly see the red kind of. Yeah, go back, go back a few minutes and check that out. Pretty weird, but uh, anyway, appreciate you guys. That's gonna do it for this stream. I guess to end, I'll buy like eh, one pack of each. You know, one sword, so one. Uh, I don't know. Let's just buy. Let's buy. We're we're gonna get three hundred gems next stream. So let's just buy three Rage of Chaos. All right. Wish me luck. Ooh, shiny. Hmm. Okie dokie. Ah. Kamika. Core of Chaos is good. Comic is pretty good too. Okay. Alright. Ooh, super shiny. Oh, good. A second ogre. That's good. And. Okay. We get. Ah. Ignestra Prominence. Very nice. All right, yeah, that's a pretty good synchro monster. All right, last pack of the stream. Ooh, another super shiny. Pretty good luck to end the stream, honestly. And if nothing else, I can use these for uh, uh, you know ultra rare material if I don't like the cards or want them. Uh, Calls Arch Fiend, and ooh, I think that's our first Rise Heart. Nice. All right. I would call this stream a success. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me. Appreciate you guys. Uh, if you happen to be checking out the VOD later on YouTube, I appreciate you guys as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for all the recent subscribers and comments and stuff. Uh, the interactions definitely helpful for the channel. And I appreciate uh, Rad, who was here in chat uh, a little earlier. Interaction in Twitch chat. Always makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> we were talking about like ninjas and decks and uh, all kind of stuff. Games to play, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. If you happen to be watching the VOD later on YouTube, you guys have a good night. Uh, feel free to drop me a follow on my Twitch channel. It would really help. Uh, or if not, hey, just, you know, keep watching videos. <laughs> all right. And I'll probably post some highlights, like some shorts. Of the uh, the blue eyes ultimate dragon because well, that was hilarious. So I think that'll make for great short content this weekend. So all right, guys. Anyway, have a good night. Bye bye.
All right. I think I'll make some breakfast. Uh, man, pancakes and bacon. That sounds hella good. All right. Maybe some sausage, too. Mm -hmm. 